Hi there, Scorpio. It's time to have a look and see what is going on with your transition from 2020 into 2021. Just a quick reminder, if you're watching your rising sign horoscope, your rising sign is going to be giving you additional context as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope is showing up. And your moon sign horoscope, well, that's going to be giving you the other story that is playing out this week as well. And if you ever want to get a session with me, just go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on when it comes to your cards? Well, your main theme of the week is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And this week is all about getting on top of things that we may have actually have neglected to take seriously or neglected to invest uh, maybe proper time or dedicate proper time or energy or maybe even a bit of effort or spending money into that are already promising big breakthroughs and big payoffs. Because with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, we may not be evaluating these opportunities properly. We may not necessarily be giving them uh, the credence or giving them their fair chance to actually do something good for us and all concerned. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, we may have been mm, a bit dismissive, or maybe we weren't dismissing it, we just did not necessarily uh, invest any time or energy into figuring out what we could do and get creative with it, start actually playing with it, really taking it uh, to a level where we could nurture it and upgrade and update it into something big and uh, maybe even something much more prolific than estimated. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, it's time to take a good hard look at what might actually be uh, you know, a plant in need of some fertilizer in your life, whether they are uh, friendships or projects or uh, family connections. Maybe it's your spiritual path. Maybe it's your artistic craft. Maybe, it, again, these are things that you like the way they are and you can't see how they could grow into something bigger. This is a week to really, really open your mind in order to allow for yourself to be a bigger character, a bigger influence, and a bigger provider for all of those things, you know, stepping into that cultivator, divine ascended masculine role, regardless of what gender orientation or identity you have, right? We're talking about a cosmic force in the universe. As we step into the personal responsibility card, what is going on when it comes to what you need to take ownership of if you are going to have the best week possible, got the Wheel of Fortune upright. Learning when to let go of control when you are actually taking big chances. Because with the Wheel of Fortune upright, um, there is a lot of background support going on, a lot of spiritual support going on for you stepping away from not only your comfort zone, but also allowing things to surprise you. With the Wheel of Fortune upright, we have to pay attention to where we can maybe distribute our energy in a much more fair way. Just like with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, pay attention to what you're neglecting or what you're not taking as seriously as you should. Uh, you know, even things that you think you are, but you could do better. The Wheel of Fortune upright is saying, hey, pay attention to things that you might actually need to be taking your hands off of for a little bit. What does not need you to helicopter parent it? Why are you getting in the way of your higher self and source that is actually going to be doing better than you could if you simply surrendered every once in a while. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, there is an opportunity for things to get amplified and expand much more quickly than may be validated or supported by precedent or records of linear progression in whatever you're talking about here, whether this has to do with maybe something you're doing with your business or something that you could be doing with, uh, yeah, your own uh, practice, you know, your own spiritual practice, uh, your own exercise routine, all of that kind of stuff. The Wheel of Fortune is basically saying, hey, hold on a second, where is that rigidity also not serving? How do we balance these two cards out and, and give the proper attention where it needs to go and take the hands off the wheel uh, when some when you know when our higher self is trying to drive keep the hands on the wheel when you're actually driving common sense common sense I speak to the <laughs> Scarlet Moon audience as though they had common sense now getting on to your material shifts when it comes to your uh, work your finances 
your um you know your your own professional aspirations whether it's uh something that you're doing for money or things that you're doing for uh, maybe a bit of upward mobility in your field you've got the moon upright and you're going to be facing a, a bit of a crossroads i'm actually seeing you getting a chance to look at two different futures when it comes to where you might want to end up one is going to satisfy the maybe personal desires or maybe the hopes of an older self that uh, really is not who resonates with what you're trying to actually go for anymore. It may actually uh, resonate with sating maybe old hungers, old insecurities. And the other is actually going to be a lot more uh, fulfilling in a holistic way. And it is still going to yield a great deal of prosperity, though the path may be a bit unbeaten. With the Moon card upright, you are asked to not only, of course, investigate things fairly, honestly, and thoroughly, but you want to make sure that you're not taking everything at face value. Because sometimes what seems appealing because it resonates with maybe a part of ourselves we're kind of working on or healing or clearing doesn't mean it's going to satisfy us forever. And sometimes something that seems a bit humble or something that might seem a bit uh, rough around the edges is actually better than we thought it could be and actually give us more than we thought it could, right? We're getting away from the shallow 1980s values of the 20 teens and really stepping into a more organic experience anyway. So make sure that you are not overly dismissive with what shows up this week or what is inspired this week. As we go on to your interpersonal shifts, what's going on with your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships, your main cast of characters in your life, we actually have the Three of Wands upright. And we have some rapid breakthroughs and expediting of a lot of um, agreements or maybe a lot of big steps that we may have tentatively initiated in recent history. In fact, with the Three of Wands, a lot of things may be taking off a lot more quickly than we thought our friend, our family member, or um, a partner or an intended was actually on board with or capable of leaning into. But with the Three of Wands, we actually see with that expediting and that hurrying things along that everyone is also getting on the same page and getting down to work on what is the best way to rewrite the terms of all of these relationships in a way that actually puts everyone on their highest path and their highest trajectory as well. In fact, a lot of you may be speeding up a lot of transitions. Some of you may be speeding up, you know, big moves, big investments. Um, some of you may be speeding up developments in budding relationship or family opportunities. Those of you in existing relationships may be speeding up uh, transitions, finding out that, that partners are actually willing to jump into that and again, lean in with more enthusiasm or at least more of an open mind than you could have thought. It's a beautiful, beautiful week to finally start working and moving efficiently on the same page. As we get on to your personal shifts, what's going on with you? You've got the Ace of Wands upright. This is a week where you are getting the opportunity to empower, embolden, and amplify not just your own work, but everything around you giving things that extra fuel, giving things that extra inspiration, allowing things to go at a pace that you command. With the Ace of Wands, it is a good time to consider where can we start speeding things up, pulling things that we projected out into the future into the now, giving ourselves an opportunity to have a bit of a big break by stoking the fires of little embers that are actually holding the potential to be a blazing inferno. A lot of you Scorpio people are going to find that maybe we've been taking things too slow or taking things in a much too cautious way to ever yield that kind of blaze. But this week, it's all there. So that's what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know I appreciate it. 
And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm-hmm.